Yo, what is going on? So today, I'm gonna finally get on top of my garden beds, which they are disgraceful. Um, and then we're gonna get rid of the iron stains off the bricks and off the fences as well. Just a bit of a tidy up. Might squeeze in a mow with the rotary if we can at the end because the lawn is growing. Anyway, let's get into it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. So as I said, first things first, garden beds. So, got a bit of seed here. If I'm gonna overseed the lawn that is flicked in there. It tends to happen all the time. Um, kids have been scraping along in here as they do. Bit of kaiku coming in from the neighbors, which I got rid of that in January. It just comes back so quick. January is a few months ago though. Um, through there, bit of nut grass. Um, just mostly kaiku coming in from the neighbor's house. Um, and then, this guy came in. I haven't walked behind here for a while. Uh oh, not here. <laughs> Just kai key all up through here. So, weed these garden beds, weed up behind the shed. Um, so let's get straight into it. I think my dad's coming to help me today, so I'm gonna get it done. Let's go. Cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is get these iron stains off the shed, fence, the brickwork with that um, clear ball stuff, which you can see just here. Um, I'll tell you what I've used before. Awesome stuff. So I'll flick up on the screen the details to get yourself some of this stuff if you want some. Um, Cause I contacted the company that does it. So I just wanted to know exactly where you get it. So I'll flick up the details on the screen, just waiting to hear back from them. Um, but we're gonna do areas like this. So this is iron stains. Well here, this is from liquid iron. That also works on iron stains from bores as well. Um, and then I've also got some on my shed, as you can see here. That's actually a little bit of humic acid staining. Which it works well on that. And you guys do know that I have it all across the bottom of my brickwork along there as well. So hopefully it works on that. Um, wanted to scrub that off, we'll see what happens. So this stuff is safe for your grass. Um, I've tried it on my lawn before, I actually painted it straight on the grass. Had no issues with it killing grass at all. So I'm just gonna do this straight today. I'm gonna use this straight. This should last a while. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try the paint roller on the bigger sections, but let's use this paintbrush to start out. I can mix this with water as well, but even putting it straight on does not make a difference. Looks like that paintbrush is a little bit dirty. Yeah, and once once it's sort of, you leave it for a couple of minutes and then you just wash it off with some water. That's all you gotta do. There you go, look at that difference, that is crazy. Didn't even have to scrub that. I would like slightly paint it on a bit hard with the paintbrush, but that's about it. The waterfall going here. But then if you could put, put the before and after of that, and that's just painting on, dead set two minutes later, it looks like that. Awesome, let's go try it in the brickwork. See if we have to scrub it or we can just paint it on. All right, so we'll just try a tiny section. We'll just paint it on. I just took the paintbrush to start. Let's just see if it comes off by just painting it, not even scrubbing. Otherwise, we'll try scrubbing afterwards. Leave it for like two minutes. We'll just see what happens, bruh. We'll just see. Yeah, I'm going quite heavy here. You wouldn't need to go that heavy. It's gonna be hard to tell it dries out anyway. We'll see. I'll leave it there for two minutes. Um, 
yep, you can definitely see where it's come off. Wow, that is awesome. So these streaks here are just part of the brickwork. It's just the pattern that it was. You can see it's all over the rest of the brick. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, so, mate, didn't even have to scrub that. Flip. All right, let's get the paint roller out and do this whole section. Right now, let's see what it looks like afterwards. Might leave that for a few minutes till it dries out. I like the water I just put on and see what it looks like. Looks like it definitely worked though. Might need to paint it with a paintbrush, give it a bit more of a precise stroke. I must say. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's go do the fences and the shed and stuff, which they're not too bad because I did them 12 months ago, but we'll do them again anyway. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but that is so much better. And that was basically no scrubbing. Just use the roller and it's looking seriously. Alright, so much better. You can see a clear stain across there before. Yes, so good. I'm glad I have to scrub it too hard. You can see it there, like underneath the window just there. It's quite strong in there as well. And up along this area of the house, just here. So I'm going to do that now. Um, with the paint roller and get it done. I feel like I'm getting too old for this. I shouldn't be. Whew. Super duper impressed with that stuff. Oh, I say that, but as you can see up against the shed, clean as a whistle. Up against that duvalaka, which I have the ball on, looks great. Um, and then on the house is what I'm really impressed with. All I did was use that paint roller and it has done whew, a mint job. Like it looks great. Looks like I missed a spot too. So that shows you how dirty it was before. Whew. So I was going to get a mowing today, got some stuff to do, so that took way longer than I thought it would. Um, so I'll get back and mow tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Alright, so I've changed my mind. As you can see, there's a storm rolling in. Um, and it's supposed to rain for the next two days. So I want to get this mowing. I'm going to do it quick. So we're going to get out the rotary. So we're going to use today um, the Big Bob. Let's do it. <laughs> Right, here is uh, the big bulb. Oh yeah. So this thing doesn't have a catcher. Um, so we're not gonna cut too much off today. I just wanna give it a quick tidy up. Just use that to clean my shit out finally. 
Look so much better. That was a mess. Um, it's supposed to rain heaps more tomorrow and the day after, so that's why I want to get that done. So, because the lawn was overgrown, because um, it had actually rebounded out of um, its PGR stage. So when PGR runs out, your grass actually grows quicker, just it rebounds out of that stage of having short growth. So the lawn had gone, gone nuts, plus put fertilizer down, plus put the special mix down, so it was a combo <laughs> of everything. But yeah, at least I got over that quickly. Once it, um, the sun comes out again, look at it's going to come again this afternoon, but it's too wet now. But um, once it comes out next, in the next couple of days, I'll come over again with the Swarbon or the Rover, whatever I choose to use. But anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week.